Hello everybody and welcome to yet another video. Today we're playing the Frost Dire Keep. Which is more like a Draugr Keep. To actually reach the keep you have to do something which in real life would be illegal. But in here you can just slaughter polar bears. And it's the only way to get to the bosses. The first boss of the instance is actually the hardest boss of the instance and that is because usually at this point as a tank you won't have the inner fire skill which is a ranged taunt from the undaunted tree. So the only way to aggro this boss is by doing a regular taunt from the sword and shield tree and that means you have to get up close. And as you can see this boss has a constant AoE attack, which not only does damage but slows you down as well. So once you're inside this AoE you're pretty much dead. I'm gonna show you the only way to tank this boss, which is by kiting. So what you see me doing is I'm waiting for this charge attack to appear and when he does it after the charge he just stands still for one or two seconds. That's the best time to taunt him like that. So what I do I just keep running around wait for him to charge me then I rush in taunt him and I start running again. That way I will not take any damage and I'm kiting him in circles because that way the healer and the DPS can stay in the middle and just do constant DPS and heal me. The second boss is the Guardian of the Flame. He starts right off with a charge attack, so as a tank you should wait a little bit before picking him up. Uh, and one of the attacks he has is this AoE, which is like a, a small storm or something. He casts it pretty regularly on random party members. Another attack is this frontal cone attack you just saw. And he does power attacks, which, like always, should be blocked. But altogether, a pretty easy boss once you avoid the small AoE attacks. The third boss is Drodda's Dreadlord and right at the start you can see one of his abilities. Just watch the little scams going in, instantly killing Takisuyas and that is because they explode. Uh, the boss summons these scams regularly and they just charge in like kamikaze pilots and then they explode. So what you should try to do is avoid the scams. Also avoid this AOE 
for range DPS it won't be a problem, for melee DPS just move out of the way. He does a power attack which should be blocked. And there's really not much else to know about this boss. Basically the ice scams are the most important because if you group up you all take damage and you take quite a lot of damage. Two of those scams will instantly kill you. This is an optional boss called Iceheart, and Iceheart is a Frost Atronach. The most impressive part of the fight is actually the start, where he is constructed. The rest of the fight is pretty straightforward, and pretty easy as well. He does this frontal cone attack, which should actually be blocked, I'm trying to avoid it, but you shouldn't do that. And the same goes for that AoE. As a melee character it's really hard to avoid these AoEs. The next thing he does is cast the small AoEs and from those AoEs a few adds spawn. You should take care of them and then you can just continue the fight. Here we are at the final boss, Drodda of Ice Reach. She's an Ice Mage and she cannot be tanked. She will attack random party members with her staff. She will blink and do a, an AoE. And she does this attack, which as a tank I usually let it happen because I am incapacitated but the boss doesn't do anything either. As a DPS you should probably break out of it and start DPSing again, but as a tank I cannot do much here anyway. At 50% health she spawns two ice raids. They have very little health and should almost be killed instantly. After that you can just continue DPSing her. And also this final boss is really really easy. 